Hey guys, welcome to a Sephora VIB sale recommendations. This one is going to cover skincare, hair care, skincare tools. Um, there's also one with all the makeups. I will link that one below because these are going up at the same time. Okay, we'll start off with hair. I'm not that big on like trying a lot of hair care products so often it's like when stuff is sent to me i'll try it out or if it's like super super hyped that's usually when i try stuff out so first of all this you guys have seen i've purchased this a lot of times i've talked about it in a lot of haul videos this is the alterna uh bamboo smooth candy oil dry mist i have this stuff this is pretty almost empty i have this in a lot of variations i have the actual mist i have the one that's the micro mist which is like an aerosol even have like the little dropper bottle I think I love this stuff and it smells so good and I just like the way it makes my hair look I like the way it makes my hair feel um, it doesn't like sit on my hair and feel gross like you know how when stuff sits on your hair and it feels like it's like attracting more things like dust and pollution things yeah it doesn't do that this is also from Alterna caviar anti-aging perfect texture finishing spray I don't like the smell of this but I like the way it works so after I like curl my hair and I let it set or cool i kind of lift sections and kind of spray it and i feel like it gives like a good bit of volume and it holds throughout the day a couple of dry shampoos this is the elizabeth and james nirvana this is the white one this one's also almost out i love the smell of this and it actually works well as a dry shampoo from chlorine this is the this is just their dry shampoo with oat milk for all hair types this is what i have in the hair today this stuff is probably one of like the best all-around ones. The scent is pleasant. It actually really feels like it absorbs your oil and gives you like that zhuzh. So I really like this. This is from Living Proof. It's the perfect hair day nightcap overnight perfecter. I can't even figure out exactly what this does. I just know that I really like it. And then whenever I use it after kind of I've blow dried my hair, not fully blow dried, but like towel dried slash blow dry because I never fully dry my hair. I'm not someone that actually like does like a blow dry, but I really like this. And it feels nice just in general, even if you wear it, or not wear it, but put it on before you go to bed. Some skincare I'd recommend to you. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum. This is empty. This is going to be in an empties video. Um, I'm also kind of wanting to do like favorite retinols, that kind of a video too. I love, <laughs> a lot of people don't like the smell. I like the smell. To me, it smells like really faint root beer, like a root beer float. Am I making that up or do I have like a weird nose? But this stuff works really good. I feel like I went through it very quickly. You do get a full ounce, but like any other or most skincare products, I just felt like I went through it very quickly. Not that I use a lot or maybe because I was actively using it and it felt like, you know, but it feels so good. I felt like my skin looked really plump and just good in the morning, which is usually the kind of effects that I get from retinol. So I'm like a big fan of just trying tons of retinol products. This is the Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Liquid Lift and Retinol. You guys probably saw this in many videos as well as the mailbox haul this was sent to me. This stuff is so unique. You shake it up, you really have to shake it up and you spray it and you get like a foam and it's kind of a yellow tinted foam. And you just use that much, you don't, you don't think it's a lot when it comes out but like you get it all over your face and it covers your whole face. You can get it down your neck. I really love this. I saw really great results with it so just recommending that to you i don't know how else to describe skincare products to you guys especially when they're retinol because i feel like all the retinols i use just they kind of give me the same effect and it's all positive this is a mini of the kate somerville retinol firming eye cream <sighs> i was supposed to get sent the full size i didn't they had like an issue with like stock or something but the full size is like much larger obviously and there's like a gold metal tip which a lot of people like because it cools the skin i don't know if i get like a huge different benefit when I use eye products that have that. It's very temporary and it's definitely more of a feeling than it is a result. Um, but I love this. This is completely out. I'm considering really getting the full size. Now, to get both of these products at full size is probably around $190, $180 or $190, which is a lot. And even with the 20% off, I don't know if that knocks you down to like a good price, but Nordstrom does a combo, like a duo where you can get both of them for full size for $130 which is a way better. So if you're considering getting either of these retinol Kate Somerville products, definitely get them off of Nordstrom. This is the Kagendo Cleansing Spa Water. Favorite cleansing water ever. Like I talk about this, you see it in empties videos all the time. I have the cleansing cloths too, but I don't, I use them so sparingly. It's gonna take forever before you can see that pack in my empties video. The Clinique Pep Start Quick Cleansing Swipes. 
You never see cleansing cloths or makeup remover wipes in my empties videos. Why? Because I don't use them. Because I think they're horrible. I, every time I see them, when I go to like a drugstore or anywhere where I see like just an aisle of, of like skincare and I see like makeup remover cloths, I just want to like run across the whole aisle, throw them, like push them all to the floor because I think they're so bad for you. Anytime I've used them, I've tried a lot and you never hear me talk about them because I don't want to like talk about them because I don't like them. I feel like they either have a very heavy scent, I feel like it might remove some of your makeup but it doesn't remove all of your makeup or it... I feel like it just sits on your face and I kind of feel like I don't understand the point of removing your makeup with a cloth and then having to go through with your whole other cleansing. You know what I mean? Unless you just have skin that can really take cleanser after cleanser after cleanser. Some people like cleanse a lot, like use a lot of cleansers at night. I, I'm not someone like that. I use a cleansing water. I use a, a, a separate eye makeup remover and then I use a cleansing water to get my makeup off, like my face makeup. And then maybe I'll go in with some kind of exfoliant, but I do not like full on cleanse all the time. Like I just don't do it. But these I absolutely love. These were sent to me, so I'm not gonna, cause I, I wouldn't have known to pick these up because I wouldn't, and if I were, I wouldn't be like, oh, let me go get the Clinique ones because it's not like a brand that's like, you know, like, like that for me. There's, how many, are there 30 in here? No, 50. I'm so excited. That means, do you see, like, because I've used these. I have used these at least four or five, no, let's be three to four times a week. I will use my eye makeup remover and I'll use this. I like these because they just say they're cleansing wipes. They're not claiming to remove your makeup, even though I feel like the cloth is so huge that you can just remove everything. So I will often just use this in place of a micellar water, like the Cagendo or the Bioderma. I really like these. The Lancer Volume Enhancing Lip Serum. I've talked about this in a lot of the vlogs. Uh, so love. I love this so much. It's $40. It has a metal tip. Now you're like, this is probably just like a gloss. It is just like a gloss. However, I just find that this is a holy grail for me now. It is everything. Like, I have tried so many. The, the test for me is always the overnight. When you put something on overnight, I want it to be able to wake up and have there be like, no flakes or if you have like or if it has like moisturized and kind of like lifted the skin i can just kind of swipe like the gross lip skin away i don't want to have to go through like and further exfoliate and you know what i mean like i don't want to do that whole process in the morning like i really just want to use the cleansing water and go in the morning like that's that's all i do in the morning so this stuff when you first put it on there's a bit of a tingle but it's not like extremely minty and it's not extremely like numbing it just feels nice it says not to use it past the perimeter of your lip. I do, like, I don't know, maybe, because some people go overboard, you know, and some people have more sensitive skin, so I can understand that warning. It just plumps your lips, it moisturizes your lips. Your lip products go on so beautiful afterwards. Love. So this, you can get, like I said, it's 40 bucks, but for $45, you get one ounce of their polish, which is their exfoliant, their face exfoliant, which is so good. I actually have an ounce that I've gone through. So for 45, you get a full size of this and that, and that for an ounce runs about 17 or 18 dollars. So you're getting a really good deal. The next thing is the Lancer Eye Contour Lifting Cream, MDCP Complex. This is supposed to help with dark circles, fine lines. What else was, I think those are the two main things. I noticed, I don't have very dark circles, but I definitely have those kind of like concave areas right here. So I noticed that when I was using this, this is something you can use day and night, that my, I felt like I didn't really need to use a corrector, which I love, because I could just go straight in with concealer and be good. And the reason I think that is, I talked about this earlier in a vlog, I feel that it definitely plumps your under eye area. Because I could feel, because I put it on under the eyes and I put it on the lid. And, and I'm not saying I felt swollen in the morning, but things felt like more firm and plump. So I feel like it definitely does that. And then because your skin is being pushed out more, the darkness disappears because the light's not kind of catching in that like crevice. I really like this and I would recommend this. Like I, and this is probably the one of the first, does this not have retinol in it? It's probably one of the first like non-retinol eye creams I've used in like a really long time. And all the Lancer stuff I think is made in the US, which is super awesome. I think Dr. Lancer is actually, is he in LA? Probably. I wanna go see him, I really like his products. Peter Thomas Roth, this is the retexturizing kind of kit. I got this, I think, I don't know, maybe off of like Verizon or something. And, oh, there's also an eye cream. 
no, there's like a little jar of cream. Anyway, all, everything from this line is really good. It's called the, we have the Laser Free Resurfacer, which is their serum. You have the Laser Free Retexturizer, which is the exfoliating scrub. And then the Eye Serum Contour, as well as a little jar of serum or face cream. A jar of serum face cream. I would say the thing that has the most effect that I really loved is the serum and the eye contour. I think that the the cream, like the moisturizing cream, is okay, and I think the texturizer is okay. I would really recommend these two to you. I really, really like them. All of the products are tinted red because they use the dragon's blood, I think. Is that what they use? I know a lot of people or a lot of brands love using dragon's blood. The eye cream has 43% dragon's blood, and the Resurfacer has 33.5% Dragon's Blood Complex. So I really like these. I kind of made the mistake, because I think I have very tough skin. Like, tough as in, like, I don't have sensitive skin. It doesn't react to a lot of things. I'm not going to break out over the, the, the wrong product use. So, or the wrong product usage. And I use this for, like, three days straight. Mm-mm. You cannot <laughs> use it like, like I would start off easy use it once a week then maybe use it twice a week but this is not something you can use every day because I started seeing that my skin it wasn't getting dry but it was getting kind of like sensitive as in like it was pink it was like it wasn't like a normal skin tone for me so that's kind of how I knew it was working because it was definitely resurfacing my skin on the moisturizing end this is the Cora's black pine oil active firming sleeping oil there's so many sleeping oils on the market this one when I was reading reviews about this, so many people complained about the scent. I absolutely love the scent. And here's the other thing. Sunday Riley oil is really a big deal. If, if any of you guys were using those oils and were okay with that scent, none of those smell good. They all smell horrific. And I like some of them, but some of them just felt too heavy for me, even when I use them by themselves. So this one I really like. It's very light. I love the bottle. It's black, obviously. But this one... It, it to me it absorbed very quickly because for me the Sunday Riley ones didn't feel like they just felt more thick so that I didn't feel like they would absorb fully so I never really stuck to using any of them for a long time the way I use oils I basically I have just started to ignore whatever they tell me in the instructions because some of them say that you can layer them and use them I don't think that works for me I either use only an oil at night and I put, I, like, I'll put an eye cream on and I'll put an oil. Or I'll lightly pat it on top of whatever other skincare. Like if I have a moisturizer and a serum on, I'll lightly pat this on. Using it in any other step outside of the first step and the last step does not work for me. Like if it's like, oh, put your toner on and then put your serum on and then put an oil on and then put a more No, that does not work. Either it's the first and only step in my skincare at night or it is the final step in my nighttime skincare routine. During the day, I don't use oils. I find it mixes horribly with a primer or foundation. When I'm watching Instagram videos and people are putting oil on their beauty blender or on their foundation brush, I've tried that a couple times. Every time it ends up looking horrible. Like it might look okay on camera or on an Instagram video. It does not look good in person. It does not, especially after you put powder on top of it. Mm -mm. Some creams I wanna talk about, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. These are just creams that I think are really great for moisture. It's not like I think it's gonna change your skin. They're just moisturizers that I have found throughout many winters have worked really well for my daytime moisturizer. It Confidence, Confidence in a Cream, It Confidence, yeah. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, super love. The Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. This is a much lighter, smoother formula. I think if you have oilier skin you could enjoy this and then if you have drier skin maybe for fall but not necessarily for winter or you can use it as a primer like i've used a good amount of this the bobby brown extra repair moisture cream also really love this i've also used a really good amount of this this is my second jar so i really think this does a really great job of just keeping your skin moisturized having makeup sit on top of it you can apply powders and it still looks really good the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I had accidentally called this the Moisture Surge in one of my videos, and so many guys of you guys commented like, oh, I'm gonna try the Moisture Surge, and I had to make sure I like corrected everyone, like, I'm so sorry, not corrected you guys, corrected myself. It's the Dramatically Different that is very good for dry skin. It says, for a very dry to dry combination, love 
this so good and it's so actually quite inexpensive a big big bottle i think is about 26 and they do like special editions that are even larger and at 20 percent off really good deal if you have very dry skin i would really recommend this i think in the in the, the quite dead of winter i'll be using this a lot even though i've been still kind of using it on and off lately murad does really great skincare they have a retinol serum that's come out that i kind of want to try they have a kind of moisturizing line this is step two and this is step three the step two is called the treat and repair it's the hydrodynamic quenching essence and then step three is just hydrate and protect this is just a flat out plain old moisturizer but really really good however i think if you have really really dry skin i don't think that this will penetrate all the way i don't find however this stuff i don't know step number two over three is actually super super moisturizing the only issue I have with this is I feel like there's like silicones in it. So if you if your skin reacts well to silicones, you'll love this. It's also an excellent primer because it's so glidey. I just find that whenever I use anything silicone based, even just primers, I completely, if you look at the primers that I will share with you in, a, in the kind of makeup video, very few of them, I don't think any of them are like super silicone based because my I don't like it. My skin doesn't like it. I feel like it, it like clogs my pores. But this stuff is really, really nice for moisture. A few tools I want to share with you. The Ferreo. This is the mini love. These are so good. I love, I have kind of like a, something I bought off kind of like an Asian website, but it's like a long brush. It's not as good as this, but the shape is just different. So I like that. But this is really good. There's a larger full size version if you, you know, I don't know. I got the small one because I have smaller hands, but I really like this. You get a nice kind of silky cleanser on your face and just go to town sometimes i'll even use a fairly like a less abrasive exfoliant and i really love that too this is the pmd you can buy little discs sensitive i think there's like three versions like that you can get three three versions of a disc that you can get and this i use very sparingly i sometimes see videos i think there's like demo videos where you can do your entire face that's not happening whenever i have like a completely healed blemish so it's literally just a like dark spot on my face like on my skin things go grayish brownish once it's healed so when i once it gets to the point where it's fully healed like there's no more open skin i'll just turn this on and just kind of pop it on once or twice i'm not going over it and it just kind of over exfoliates that area compared to the rest of my face and i just feel like it helps it like removes the dead skin there faster and allows it to fade faster so whatever i apply on top of it to fade it will help it fade faster i hope you found this video helpful i really feel like i really tried to put together like items i really like um as far as skin care and hair care i definitely want to do more videos um are you guys down for like skincare sunday or something i don't know like i want to talk about like my favorite retinols my favorite glycolic acids my favorite blemish spot fading treatments or stuff like that and a lot of the hair stuff i like most of the stuff that i like from sephora brands are like you know dry shampoos and stuff like that but like as far as stuff that i actually feel like that like treats my hair is from you know other brands that you can't purchase there so let me know what it is that you really want to see and then i will try and figure out when those can get filmed and like provide you with that information so happy shopping i will link the makeup one down below